My first tip on this whole type B teacher series is all about the closing shift. Let's just paint a picture of what I used to do during my closing shift. I like to call it the avoidance strategy and sometimes that still happens to me. Basically, I would have a million things in my brain on my to-do list, but I would avoid them because I didn't know how long they were going to take. And then to pass the time until contract hours were over, I would end up doing a task that really wasn't that important, such as rearranging my furniture or something. And then I would end up staying too late because I got fixated on the one thing and my to-do list was still forever long. So here's kind of what I usually try to do now. And I feel like it's helped me stay organized on top of the to-do list and not have a million things running in my head. Now don't get me wrong, as a teacher, the list is kind of never ending anyways, and it's always a little bit chaotic, but I do feel like this helps. So first you're gonna wanna set a timer for how long you wanna spend on your closing shift. I usually set mine until contract hours are over. Step two is to make a brain dump of all the things you need to get done, but try to prioritize the ones that are most important for you to start your next day at school. For me, this closing shift was right before Thanksgiving break, so I wanted to cross off everything that I needed to start that next Monday so I wouldn't have to worry about a single thing over the break. Then as you complete the different things, you'll cross them off your list. And what's nice is the things that you didn't get to are still right there on the list.